Hi internet, it's me, Tori, and today we are actually doing something very different from my usual art style and projects. Most of the time I just do random things because I think it's fun. Um, if you don't know, I do a lot of stuff for other people. If you want to check out my art fight series, uh, I'm going to make a playlist for it, link in the eye in the corner. You can just see and get a feel for what I normally create because I do love creating. One of the best parts about drawing, I think, is giving it to another person and then they can enjoy it just as much. That's one of the things I like about art. But today is something very different. If you see logos nowadays, you know about stuff like Nike or Adidas or even like the TikTok logo. Those things are worth millions. Nike alone just gets millions off of the little check mark for their brand. I believe that it's worth over a billion dollars itself. Just that little swish. Yeah, that's something I couldn't think of. Logos are a whole new world for me. And while I've tried it before in the past, I've never really been good at it. So, here we are, I guess. I decided to take on a challenge that my uncle gave me and my little sister. Now, I don't know if Collie Wolf, Sam, Lisa, is going to be participating. I already know that I have a bunch of sketches I've thought out, which is what you're seeing today. But if she does make a video or does anything with it and she wins, I'll link her stuff in the description. If he ends up using anything of ours, it would be cool. Um, the reason why he gave us this challenge is he's actually releasing a record, which I'll probably promote once it's out. But, you know, he had a few ideas that he wanted. He didn't really give us a whole criteria. He just gave us a few things and said, this, you know, go with the flow. Thing one that he wanted was he wanted it to be able to be put on like a t-shirt or something. It's a logo. That's kind of obvious. Thing two, he wanted it to be psychedelic and it had to be a butterfly. Now I ignore that last one on the last sketch, but that doesn't matter. We, we do what we want in the name of art and I made a few sketches. The first one, you actually don't get to see sketched at all. Um, because I was binge watching anime on my phone and I can't do that and record at the same time and I really wanted to watch One Punch Man again and so everything kind of got put to the side and I forgot about it about filming until like two days ago and the idea for this first one was that basically when I think of psychedelic I think of mushrooms and shrooms and that kind of thing However, he didn't want that kind of psychedelic. He wanted it to be like an oil spill, kind of like swirling colors type of psychedelic. And I didn't, like, my first thought would be a butterfly on a mushroom. But I didn't want to do that because that wasn't what he wanted. So I decided to cut the butterfly in half. Half of it would be normal butterfly where I could have swirly colors. And then the other half of it be flora and then I can sneak in a few mushrooms you know and I think it looked cute but whatever that's not one of the ones we made the second one was a butterfly that I'm going to if he chooses it color it black and white and have a oil spill aura behind it now these are just concept sketches when you do a commission or a request I guess in this case it's a commission because it's I take it like a commission because it is a family member, but you sketch out a bunch of ideas and then you show it to them and then the person who ordered the commission gets to pick out what they've chosen. So in my case, that's what I'm doing. Then the second one has an oil spill aura around it with a black and white butterfly. And I like this one a lot because it looks like it could be, like, leeching off of the butterfly. And honestly, I like, like, floaty, fun aura kind of things anyway. It's just 
it's entertaining to me. Like, if I don't know what to do behind a character, I'll make a splotchy aura type thing. Maybe I'm watching too much Hunter x Hunter. I'm just like, Nin. But it ends up, like, the sketch, I really like. But the third one is the one that, where all is my favorite. All of it comes together beautifully. So if you don't know about me, I like moths better than barflies. And my favorite moth is the death's head moth. Or the death's head hawk moth. It's best known for its appearance in the movie Silence of the Lambs, which is a great movie. I suggest you watch it if you got a strong stomach. <laughs> and I actually have a character that's based off the hawk's moth, and he is one of my favorites. His name's Styx. But, you know, he said butterfly. But I thought it would be cool to try and design a idea with a hawk moth because those things are like the easiest thing to make into a t-shirt design because they look so damn cool. I mean, they've got a skull on the back of their back, their thorax, something like that, the lorax, uh, <laughs> and they really are just so neat. I mean, if I wanted to do a different moth, I'd probably do a, a rosy maple moth, but nobody really would be able to tell the difference between a butterfly and that. And I think the dark idea of the skull and, and all of that would be cool. I had a bunch of moons because, well, when you think about psychedelics in history, it is usually in pagan beliefs, or at least that's what it's been kind of pushed as. Um, as being the drugs to see into the afterlife. And if you study anything about paganism or Wicca, it's really into the moon. And I just thought it would look cool with the skulls. And honestly, it added a fun layer. The idea I want to do is have the skull and the moons be black and white. And then everything else be that psychedelic swirl. Again, this would be if he chose this one. I'll probably draw it anyway. I think at the end it looked more like a tattoo. But those look cool on t-shirts, right? Right? All in all, I think this is a fun experience and exercise for me. It was a fun sketch project. If I finish them, I will definitely post them in the community tab. So keep a lookout on that. And if you've made it to the end, thank you. If you really like it, I suggest clicking the subscribe button. I post art every Saturday and whatever the hell I want on Mondays because that's that's fun, right? <laughs> I have fun with what I create here and I hope that I can create a positive sphere of influence for art and gaming or whatever the hell I want. <laughs> anyway, hopefully if I get any updates on my uncle's album, I'll actually post it in the pinned comment or community tab of my channel, so definitely check that out. I am very much looking forward to seeing who wins if my sister does it at all, I don't know. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.